Hi, welcome to the digital job site where the boards are straight, the weather's great, and there really is a board stretcher. Many of the sessions I've done previously show some of the more um, complex features uh, that SketchUp has to offer, and so this one's just a uh, step back to some of the simpler things that SketchUp is uh, real practical for, and I like to use the uh, measurement tool and dimension tool for figuring diagonals for site layout or uh, wall layout. Um, the principles I'll show here um, have all kinds of applications, basically just using um, the uh, features of SketchUp to calculate dimensions, diagonal dimensions for a square and true layout. So what I did to start this um, session was just created a random um, outline of what could be a potential floor plan and in my mind I thought maybe this would be the front of the house and a notch for the front entry and a, um, an angled off angled nook here um, for a breakfast nook such and such a box out for a fireplace t typical things a person might encounter with a layout and so I uh, used the the protractor tool to set this breakfast nook spot here at a 45 degree angle and such um, just to provide a variety of uh, various features to give an idea of how diagonal measurements and the accuracy of SketchUp can help the layout process. Um, one of the things uh, that I wanted to mention here is um, I changed the model info dialog box, box to architectural and then I knocked the precision down to a quarter of an inch and what that does is um, if this was a, a rough layout for an excavation or for footings or something where um, real precision wasn't uh, wasn't necessary that's good enough it keeps the dimensions simpler if you're doing very accurate wall layout or something critical a person can just um, click that the precision level up to anything a 64th of an inch if you want to get uh, real particular about it so that's a handy feature there um, but right right now it just shows uh, I just picked um, grabbed the wrong tool there I just picked um, real round numbers for um, for the dimensions of this layout and by grabbing the dimension tool you can see uh, I made that 12 feet um, made this four feet etc something you can't see here and I'm going to recreate it by um, uh, erasing a piece of line here when I did the layout instead of laying this wall I'd call it a back wall out instead of laying that out clicking one end and then the other and drawing a solid line I drew a piece that was about 18 feet and I left a gap um, let's see what the gap was that I left there 12 feet and um, so by doing that, I'll just fill this back in. It'll recreate our surface. Reverse the faces. Okay, so now hidden on this line are endpoints. And the reason I did that is because I thought we'd throw a, a, a bow in here, as in a built-out bow window type uh, feature that uh, a, f a house plan might have. So now that when I grab the arc tool, um, let's see, our, I, I drew a guideline here 30 inches off the um, the f back wall. Now when I grab the arc tool and zoom in on this line you can see it goes from green to blue there's a midpoint and then this green dot is one of the endpoints I created by not drawing that line in one piece and I go along here I've got the other one. So I know that those two dots are 12 feet apart and now I can pull this radius out uh, you can see by the green line, green axis line, that I'm in the same plane as the rest of the surface. So what that gives me is a bump out that's 12 feet wide and it protrudes 30 inches. We don't have to know the radius of that bump out. However, um, if you start out with the radius, you can recreate it. So the reason I did it this way is just to show a cool feature here. Uh, and now when I, um, let's see, let me get rid of this guideline. Now when I... Uh, select and then right click this arc I get a choice down here for a point at center and you can see this created 
a center point for that radius um, as if you were going to lay out uh, a foundation wall or uh, a cantilevered area of a deck we've got a point now for this radius and when I right click it again and select entity info it tells me this is uh, 8 foot 5 and 3 8 7 inch or so um, and the other way we can do that is just click the center point with the dimension tool and the curve and because I've got the the precision for this model set down to a quarter inch it's telling me eight foot five and a half and uh, that shows you how the process works it's up it'd be up to the individual to decide um, how accurate of a radius they wanted what kind of precision they were after but anyways with uh, with the outline created um, we've got a center point and kind of a general shape of a structure uh, the main purpose I wanted to demonstrate with this video is that uh, again by taking the dimension tool if um, if we're doing a layout either in the dirt or on a concrete slab for some type of an outline like this uh, once we have one line established um, we can pick any other and establish any other points on this shape by merely clicking one point in another um, so it'd be pretty handy a, a point like this isn't a square outside corner where two strings meet but it's something that a person could locate with a couple of tape measures pretty easily um, just by clicking points and triangulating you can see this is anything any dimension you want you can quickly grab um, and a real nice feature with this um, if a person was laying out that radius without a center point, it can be tricky to do. Um, but we know where the center point needs to be to create that arc. And um, you can see how SketchUp kind of jumps all around trying to determine what angle, what dimension I'm after. So by going 44 foot 7, that dimension and Let's get this to snap into the right mode there. We had it for a second, 11 foot, 2 and a quarter. That can be easily um, achieved with a couple of tape measures. Drive a stake there and uh, swing an arc of 8 foot, 5 and a half, and you're going to end up with exactly what you want. Um, other things like um, if when I drew this outline, I just stepped around. Uh, this was 28 feet or something, 4, 12, 18, and I ended up with a point out here but it doesn't really tell me, I don't necessarily know the total width of um, from this point to that point, but by letting SketchUp kind of bounce around there a little bit, I can say that, okay, that is 39 foot 5 and 3 quarters. The total width of this structure um, would be 46 foot 3 and 3 quarters. But anyways, uh, the purpose is to show that just by stepping off these dimensions um, with SketchUp I can come up with any of the geometry necessary for laying it out and in a pretty quick and handy accurate manner um, this is something that I could just print out from the computer um, if you've never done this before one way of doing it is to go to file and export and select 2D graphic and then um, what I typically do is just put it in a, a photo folder and um, it just shows up in there. You go in and print it out and you take it to the job site or to a customer or wherever. It's a pretty, pretty handy process and uh, you can get any, any type of uh, or any level of detail or information for doing, for doing uh, site or um, project layout work. So that's it for this video and for this blog post. Uh, check out the um, digital job site blog at findhomebuilding.com for text to accompany this video if you've come across it in YouTube. Whichever way you uh, encountered this, I uh, appreciate your attention and taking the time to watch.